Hey everyone, it's Bernie from Raw Customs Mobile Install. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove door panels from the front doors and rear doors of a 2015 uh, Subaru Forester. Uh, we'll be installing Alpine Type S coaxials in the front and rear doors, um, but today this video is just to show you how to remove the door panels and how to put them back on properly. Alright, first I'm going to show you what tools you're going to need in order to get the door panel off. They're super simple. Either a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips bit. Um, also a pick tool, something with a sharp point on it um, so that you can get into spots that you can't get your fingers in. And then a plastic uh, door panel tool to get underneath the door panel so you can get your fingers underneath it to pull it off without causing any damage. Uh, here's what I'm going to be using. My drill, panel tool, pick tool. And then these are the speakers I'm going to be putting in, Alpine Type S uh, coaxials front and rear. Alright, like I said, this door panel is pretty simple to get off. There are three screws all together. You're going to have one in this door handle here. You're going to need a little pick tool. Stick this in there and gently pull up on it and reveal a uh, Phillips head screw. Take your drill or your screwdriver, remove it. Set it on the floor somewhere you're gonna remember where it's at, preferably like a magnetic um, holder so it can keep all your screws together without losing them. Your next screws are gonna be under this silver piece here. You wanna gently remove this. If you mark this, it's gonna look terrible when you're done. So be very careful. I use a pick tool and a panel tool. There's a little square in here. You can get your pick tool in. Gently lift up on it and then squeeze your plastic panel tool and then it just comes right up. Nice and easy. No problem. Go. Next, drill. There's two screws, one in here. And one down here. Screws also back where you can find them. Next, you need to lift from the bottom of the door panel in order to lift it up and get it off. Uh, be very careful, there's some wires here. Um, you got a cable up here. And then I believe there's a light on the bottom. You don't want to pull that wire out either, so just be real careful. I like to start with my panel tool and the bottom. Just kind of wiggle it, get it under there. And kind of pull up. There you go, it's coming up. All right, after you get it loose, you're gonna to want to just grab each side and just gently pull it up. And then just see what you got going on behind there. Like I said, you got a light down at the bottom, so unplug that, let it hang. And you got some cables on the inside. You got another plug here, and another plug here. Now as you can see, there's a six and a half inch speaker or a six inch speaker there, but the whole surrounding is like a six by nine. So clearly you're going to have to make something um, to secure a uh, six and a half in there, which I'm fine with. There's the connector for the speaker. I'll let you know what's negative and positive on those when I do the, uh, the speaker install. For now, that's how you get the door panel off. To get the door panel back on, just do it in reverse order. First, when you're putting it back on, you want to plug everything in. Very important. And most of these plugs are only going to fit in one way. So you shouldn't, shouldn't have to worry about whether or not you're going to get them in the right spot. Make sure they snap. Don't forget your light at the bottom. And then of course your lock and your door, uh, door pull. And gently back up against the window. Should fit right in there, no problem. All right, after that's back on, just take your screwdriver, put your screws back in. that piece 
face down. Bottom first. Snap it in. Then you want to, of course, make sure your locks and everything work. And that's it for taking uh, off and on the front door panel. You can do the same on the driver's side. We're going to move to the back now. All right, for the back, it's going to take the three same tools. Screwdriver, uh, panel tool, pick tool. Another screw, same spot up there in the handle. Just pull this back, reveals a silver screw. You also have one in the uh, door handle piece here. There's going to be one of these little doors on it. Uh, mine, for some reason, is missing. It's gone. Um, weird because I've never taken this door panel off before. So. Um, there's a screw in there also, and then those are the, those are the only two screws. Throw some more. Then, door panel tool, pry from the bottom again. Go. Feel it start to snap. Move your way around. Sometimes you'll forget to take a piece off. Very important. This needs to come out of the way. All right, once you get that piece off, take it, lift it up slightly. Again, you have the two cables up top and your power window cable. There's no light on the back of this one. Definitely get those out of there. And as you can see on the back door, we actually have a six and a half or a six inch speaker. Um, I'm probably still gonna make a half inch MDF ring to space it out from the door so that I know my window's gonna go down all the way. Um, also help give it a, a firmer seal to the door. You also have your speaker harness. We have your positive and negative on it. I'll give you those when we do the speaker switch. But there's just a little thing and you pop out. Good to go. Okay, we're going to put the back door panel back on. We're just going to do it in reverse order. As you can see, I have a clip right here that didn't come off with the door. And another one over here that didn't come off with the door. So I'm going to remove those, put them back on the door panel first, and then put the door panel on. It's going to go in reverse order of how we uh, took it off to put it back on. My plug first. And then my lock and my door pull. Right. Gently put it back up there. You shouldn't have to force anything. It should just fall right into place, especially if you're in a newer car. And then just tap it in where the clips were. And put your screws back in. That closes in. All right, and make sure that screw is covered up. All right, that's it for taking off the rear door panel. Uh, it's very easy. Two screws. Just be very gentle with everything and just make sure you get all your clips back in the door panel before you put the door panel back on the door. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'll actually show you how to and what I've done to replace these speakers. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to check me out on uh, Google Plus at Raw Customs and also on Facebook with Raw Customs Mobile Install and also on Instagram with Raw Customs Mobile Install.